single woman. Now, how many of y'all know that's a lie for the pits of hell? <laughs> One size does not fit all. I cannot wear the same tights that Jesse can wear. Y'all ain't had to laugh so hard today, folks. The rest of y'all can't wear me. Yeah, I'm like I'm oversized. Thank you, sir. So today's subject is one size fits all. Now, the person that came up with this, and this is a size, these are, these are footless tights, capri tights. It says on this package, I used to work in the federal government and I used to do accounting. In accounting, public law 94 says, 94 dash one, they probably need some limits now, says if you buy a product and it does not meet the requirements of why you bought the product, you have a right to take it back. This is false advertising. If I bought this package, of tights and got them home and put them wearing. On this package it says one size fits all. That means Destiny can wear them and I can wear them. They'd be too big for Destiny and I'm not a single feature for me. <laughs> this hat, we all have different heads, different shapes. That's why Steve Harvey should have never cut all his hair off. Everybody's head is not each other. <laughs> this swim cap says one size fits all. It probably will come off in the pool when I'm in there. Because everybody's head is not the same size. Now this says, which is the biggest lie, one size fits all for men and women. Men and women don't have the same shapes. We can't wear the same clothes. Today the subject is one size fits all. Now people have a custom of saying that God can do anything. There is one thing most small that God cannot do. And it's in the text today. God cannot lie. And if he tells you whatever size your problem is, he can fit it. He means just that. So on today, he's saying whatever circumstance you're in, whatever problem you experience, whether it's health, whether it's mental, whether it's physical, whether it's your children acting it, whatever size it is, he can fit it all. Now, they do have some accounts of the Bible that tell me that these people were aware that one size is all. For well, similar to my experience of having a headache, there's a scripture in the Bible that tells us of a young man that was in the field with his father, and the child began to have a headache, and he called out to his father and said, My head, my head. So the father told the servants to carry the child to his mother. They took the child to his mother, and the child lay in his mother's lap and died of a headache. We don't have to die of a headache. The other day, one of my friends, my son, had an aneurysm on the brain. He was home alone. Died at the house in five minutes to Tuesday. Had a massive stroke and died. But this mother knew of a prophet in the land. She told the servant, saddle the horse so I can go and see the prophet. The child was already dead when the mother did this. And before she got far off, she was far from the prophet. The prophet sent the servant and said, go to the woman. Because the woman is troubled and asked her, what's the problem? Instead, the woman kept riding until she got to Isaiah. And Isaiah asked her, it's all well with you and your family. That woman said, all is well. And the reason why she said this is because she knew the size and the magnitude of her problem. But she also knew that God can fit them all. And we sit and don't know that he is the only one that can authenticate that, authenticate that statement. Nobody else can tell you that statement but God. He is the only one that is the same size for everybody. He is everywhere at every time. Another instance in the Bible says that the wisdom who they were knocking at her door 
And we have people, we may not have people physically in our head, but we have some financial obligations that they don't fail to send us every 30 or 27 or 28 days a reminder. Okay, maybe y'all don't have me. Everybody is dead, dead free. Well, I'm not dead free. And they remind me, and not only do they remind me, they put down there, if you fail to sin on this day, this is the amount that you are going to pay. Every 27 or 28 days, I'm reminded, just like this woman, her husband had died, and the predators was at her door, and they were going to take her and her sons. But she knew that this size of problem the Lord could handle for her. So the Lord instructed her to go borrow vessels from your friends. Fill them with oil. Then go and sell the oil. She had so much oil that she, did, she ran out of vessels. And that she lived on afterwards. But the Lord said, go and sell the oil and pay your creditors. David, although he was small in stature, and Goliath saw David as a small problem. But Goliath knew the size of the Lord. The Lord instructed him to go. See, you got to know how to handle bullets. David was a bully. And you have some bullets in your life. Then they may not want to beat you up. But there are people that don't mean you any good in your life. And David had a bully called Goliath. For Goliath was seeking out to kill David. And David, you know, Goliath was saying, why are you sending me this small child to fight? He doesn't have an army, he doesn't have this. But God instructed David, look, get five stones. And let me tell you something I told one of my students. Because uh, one of the students said she had 